All right, going to be taking a little look at the Chromium OS. Uh, this one is vanilla, compiled by Hexa. You can get it by doing a Google search. Um, I realize this isn't a official Google build, but uh, let's take a look at it. This gives you the idea of what it is, and uh, it took no time at all to uh, install. Uh, you can download a virtual box. Uh, VDI file right from Hexa's website or there's other installation options but I always like to do these in VirtualBox. Uh, after I downloaded that, set it up, sign into my account and uh, pulls everything right up. If you ever used the Google Chrome OS before uh, it pulls in all your bookmarks and extensions. Uh, it's really nice and this is basically the operating system. Um, it's Chrome. <laughs> there's nothing sh fan fancy about it. Uh, if you go into the file manager here it brings you to whatever you've downloaded. Uh, there's no way to browse to the C drive or anything like that. Uh, gonna see if we can really do anything else here. Uh, all right. I assume you could add probably VPNs and stuff. You could probably change your IP address if you want to have a fixed one. Uh, I'm sure we can change the time zone settings. This does seem to have a bit of an issue when you click things, realizing that you clicked it. There it goes. Um, okay, this is you can access through just the settings panel over here. Um, so manage connections would be the internet connection. The other thing there, uh, themes, the home page, uh, blah blah blah, changing everything basically right there. But where is? I'm not seeing the. Maybe it's under advanced for time. And clicking, and clicking. Okay, there we go. Time. We're not UTC minus seven. I am UTC minus five Eastern Daylight Time. All right. I'm gonna set 24 hour clock. It's more accurate. People get used to it. Um. Let's see. Rest. That's fine. Extensions. Add block. You need to have it. And then some other stuff I use when I do uh, web coding and such. All right. So. It's slow. It's it boots quick, but then when you're wanting to do the web stuff, it seems slow. Let's pull up my website. Slow. Uh, usually that loads in no time at all. Um, let's see. Go to the settings here. Click, click. Okay. Let's do Angry Birds. Play some Angry Birds on here. Slow. Waiting. 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 <laughs> um, well, we are using Chrome, so let's see if we need to update Flash. We already have the most current version of Flash. All right. Let's get Chrome. Maybe it just needs an update. And clicking. Okay. Install. Install. Okay. Well, is this going to run in EXE? We'll see. It has downloaded. View this file. <laughs> it's hilarious. Um, so basically, it looks like you can't run Angry Birds on Google Chrome. You know, I'm not going to fault it too much. Just like I said, this isn't an official build. It's uh, compiled by Hexa. Uh, but basically, the Chromium OS is standalone Google Chrome. Um, if you want to use this today and be able to actually use your computer as well, I would recommend just downloading Google Chrome. It's a much faster browser on your current computer setup now. And uh, not worry too much about this. I don't really know where they're wanting to go with it. I guess they're trying to simplify things, but uh, this is too simple. Um, I don't know where I feel about it with Windows 8. Uh, I loathe Windows 8, but I'm not liking this at all either. Uh, they're both quite despicable. But uh, yeah, that's a look at uh, the Chromium OS. Don't bother. Don't waste your time. Just download Google Chrome.